and blessings everybody crystal is sunny here with be the vibe.com and we are here for another edition of crystals for the zodiac yay yes um and i'm excited i know i say this every week and that's really because i'm i've been really pleased with how the series has been going um and i'm very pleased with you know just me being able to get the information out to you guys about the crystals for the zodiac but this week is particularly special because we are talking about leo's the leader um and the reason why it's a big deal for me is because i am a leo that is my sun sign so i get to speak specifically to my fellow leo brothers and sisters in this week's uh series yes Leos, we are born between July 22nd to about August 22nd, um, and we are classified as a fixed sign of the zodiac. Um, very, very fixed. Very, 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 very fixed. <laughs> um, but that fixed nature is uh, a testament to stability, you know, so we are, are known for being stable uh, signs of the zodiac. Um, we are ruled by the sun. We are a fire element, uh, so, you know, being sun and being fire, you know, extremely, extremely there when it comes to that energy. Um, we are symbolized by the lion, um, so, you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, re uh, regality um, in our energy, you know. Um, you know, we're known for, you know, being the kings and the queens, um, you know, in the zodiac as far as how we perceive ourselves, <laughs> despite how anybody else perceives us. We perceive ourselves as being the kings and queens of the zodiac. Um, now, how we are perceived is we are known for being the, 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 the teenagers of the zodiac, you know, the big kids. Um, so our, uh, positive attributes, we have a lot, of course, of course I would say that, right? Um, but yeah, we really do have a lot of positive attributes. Um, very playful, um, you know, very good natured, very happy, cheerful for the most part. Um, we are creative, artistic, um, extremely so. So you'll find a lot of Leos that are, uh, you know, actors, actresses, singers, um, painters, poets, um, you know, just creators. We create, you know, that's what we do. Um, we're very honest <laughs> in our communication and just our energy. Um, extremely, extremely loyal, extremely, extremely generous. Um, very, very motivated, very ambitious. So, you know, um, and leaders, you know, so with that what tends to happen is that you'll see a lot of Leos that are politicians. Um, my, one of my favorite, you know, uh, uh, divine feminine heroes is Maxine Waters. You know, she is a, a Leo and when you observe how she communicates um, and how she goes in, um, you'll definitely catch that Leo energy from her. Um, but we also tend to be entrepreneurs, so you'll see a lot of, you know, um, Leos that are CEOs, that are business owners, motivational speakers, um, you know, very independent as well. Extremely, extremely passionate. You know, we're known for being passionate, um, and that uh, has to do, you know, a lot, obviously, with our, our sun energy, our fire energy. Um, we're very heart-centered, you know. Um, you know, that's where our generosity comes from. Um, we give through the heart, you know. So, um, everything we do is heart-centered, which, on the flip side, uh, results sometimes in a lot of heart-related health issues, you know, for, for Leos. Um, but, yes, we're very generous. Now, of course, you know, for, you know, as many positive attributes as we have, we also have quite a bit of challenges, right? Um, so we are generous. <laughs> and the reason why I uh, pose that as a uh, challenge is because we tend to be generous to the point of overextending ourselves. Um, a lot of times we end up making promises that we can't keep. Um, you know, just because our heart is the right, in the right place, but it's not necessarily realistic. A lot of times we overgive or we put others before we put um, ourselves. And so our self-care tends to be lacking. Um, our loyalty, uh, as much as that is a positive attribute, can also be a detriment to us um, because we end up being loyal to people in situations that don't necessarily serve us. Um, so it creates a sort of loyalty that is, uh, it could be to a fault. Um, so, you know, as we have the generosity and the loyalty being on both sides of the spectrum for us, that also is a testament to us being extreme in our energy. Um, you know, so, uh, that translates as being extremely moody, you know, which we are known for being, but also extremely dramatic. Um, and that's because our moods fluctuate and we don't also necess always necessarily know how to manage our own emotions. 
Um, so it can come across as melodramatic. Um, and that also has to do with us being um, ruled by the sun. The sun is the center, you know, of, you know, our, our uh, planetary uh, movements. So we see ourselves as the sun. Everything revolves around us. <laughs> so we act like it, right? And that's where the melodrama comes from, being on center stage, um, you know, being in the spotlight. We can be arrogant. We can be extremely, extremely stubborn. You know, that goes into that fixed, fixed nature. Um, and we don't tend to be the best listeners. Um, you know, so what ends up happening with all of that is that we tend to be um, a bit uh, tactless in our communication. A lot of times, Leo's are no we're known for saying things that people look at us like, did you just say that? You know, a lot of times we're clueless, you know. Um, and that goes to our honest nature, you know, we're just so honest. And then with us not really having our throat chakras um, properly balanced, we just kind of, you know, we, we vomit. <laughs> You know, we, we are whatever we want to say, you know, we just kind of, you know, whatever's on top of our head, it just comes out, however it comes out. It can be dogmatic and domineering, almost to the point of being bullying. So um, that is, again, the opposite spectrum of us being leaders, you know. So, you know, when we're not healthy, it comes across as being bullying um, and dogmatic and, and very, very controlling. Uh, we come across as lazy. Sometimes we are lazy, um, <laughs> you know, and it's it's interesting with us, you know, being represented by the lion. Um, you serve lions in nature, you kind of always see them, you know, lounging about. Or cats, cats do that as well. Domesticated cats, you know, they kind of lounge around a lot. You know, and the thing with it is, is that when we go in, you know, we go in hard, you know, but then when we crash or our energy, you know, starts to slow down, then we just kind of, that's it. You know, and so what ends up happening is that, you know, well, there's uh, an inconsistency in our energy and the way we move. And then, you know, it comes across as being lazy, you know. And then because we're so fixed, if we don't feel like doing something, if it doesn't feel right, we're just not doing it. You're known for having a temper. Very, very much so. You know, um, we can hold a grudge. Um, and a lot of times, you know, with those two energies, we come across as being extremely vengeful. Um, so a lot of Leos, we tend to have, uh, anger issues, you know, um, a lot of times we need anger management, we, we tend to physically fight a lot, which is interesting because really, we really don't like to fight. Um, and you know, that goes into our prideful nature. Um, so our pride, the pride in us is like, mm, you know, I don't want to fight, you know, kings, queens, we don't fight. Um, but because we have the anger issues, um, or we tend to have anger issues, uh, we tend to be aggressive. Um, especially in the physical sense. So, you know, when Leo's come to me, um, and even within my working with myself, you know, my own sun sign, um, the very, very first thing I usually say in my own personal practice is stay away from the fire crystals. We don't need it. We really don't. Um, having sun energy and being a fire element is just too much. You know, we're already aggressive. We're already passionate. Um, and on top of that, Leo's is a masculine um you know, it's a, it's a masculine zodiac sign. Um, so we're, we lean too, too much into that energy. So fire is usually a no-go, except for in, you know, certain instances. Um, we need a lot of crystals for the heart chakra um, because, you know, our, we, our uh, zodiac, is it rules the heart. Um, we have a lot, we tend to have a lot of heart-related challenges um, or heart-related uh, emotional challenges, but also physical heart challenges, um, we're known for having heart attacks, um, you know, irregular heart uh, palpitations, things like that. Um, our blood circulation tends to be a bit off a lot of times, so we definitely need heart crystals. Um, however, you know, a lot of heart crystals are water in, in nature, and so while water will help us sometimes, I tell Leos, and I know from my own personal experience, is to be careful with the water element stones because, you know, we're not really known for being in touch with our emotions. Um, and sometimes, well, we are in touch with our emotions. That's why we're dramatic. However, we're not known for managing our, our emotions well, especially if, it, if there's an over um, a stimulation of emotions. So water element crystals tend to amplify that and it'll usually kind of throw us off the edge rather than bringing us into balance. So be careful with the water element crystals as a Leo if that is what you want to go for. Um, so 
if you are going to do the water, um, I would say favor Moonstone or Selenite over, like, just say Rose Quartz. Um, in my personal practice, I, I don't typically resonate with Rose Quartz. I have to work with it very intentionally. And in my own practice, as far as with clients, Leo clients, Rose Quartz isn't, you know, it, it's a, it, it doesn't create that much stability. So I have quite a few crystals for my Leos. Um, the first one is one that I've actually been working with recently, which is Emerald. Um, Emerald is a great, 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 great crystal. Um, it is an earth element um, crystal. It is connected to the planet M Mercury, um, and it is tied or stimulates the heart chakra. Um, so it's all about unconditional love. Um, it supports a holistic equilibrium, you know, so it calms you, brings you into balance. It curbs the melodrama. You know, that's another thing, too, like when I deal with my Leos and even within myself, it's, you know, what you know, stones that curb or, you know, calm down the melodrama. It raises positive emotions um, and it provides clarity of, of your thoughts and of the thought process or processing information or processing your emotions. Um, and it treats heart disorders. Um, so Emerald is really great um, for my Leos and that really is really the kind of the go-to. That's usually the first thing I recommend for, for Leos. Another crystal I really, really love is Rhodonite. Um, Rhodonite is a really beautiful, like pinkish, uh, grayish uh, combination. Um, it almost kind of looks like, like granite, um, but it is tied to the planet Venus. Um, it is an earth element crystal, so it's very grounding, but it stimulates the heart chakra. So it's going to bring up your emotions in a way that's very uh, centered, in a way that's very balanced. It's a common crystal, um, again, the earth element, and it's a stone of compassion. Um, so that's another thing, too, I didn't mention. You know, our, our, one of my our Leo traits or our, our negative or uh, challenges is compassion. Um, we're not really known for being the most compassionate. So Rod and I will take care of that, especially when it comes to relating with other people. It clears any past emotional wounds and it uh, stimulates, clears, and supports the heart chakra. Uh, something else too that I really like about Rodinite is that it uh, helps eliminate any tendencies uh, for any destructive behaviors. Now that's something else um, that is known, you know, Leos are known for is we tend to be kind of, you know, again with our melodrama and our extreme nature, we tend to be self-destructive. Um, so there are a lot of us that I see that I have, you know, uh, that usually the tendency is alcoholism um but drugs as well so any type of self-destructive tendencies why night will help uh eliminate and, and support uh uh my leos that are uh falling into any of those habits it also uh curbs codependency um and again you know, like i said leos we tend to be generous uh, to the point of you know lacking our self-care or putting others before ourselves and what we tend to do is we create codependent situations um especially because what ends up happening is that everyone's leaning on us and coming you know and we're the fix for the stable ones so everyone's coming to us for our help um you know so we tend to be enablers um so you know the rock night will help kind of separate ourselves from from that habit as well Another crystal that I recommend for Leos is calcite. Um, I absolutely love calcite. Um, calcite is a carbonate material. Um, it's, it forms pretty much as, as abundantly and, and, and as often as quartz. And um, it comes in every single color. Um, so calcite, um, it, it resembles quartz in a lot of ways, but it, it's not clear. It tends to be opaque um, or a little like uh, milky looking. Um, so if you find it out in nature, um, that's how you can uh, tell that it's calcite. What I love about calcite is that it amplifies um, and it clears all the chakras. Um, so it, like I said, it does help that it comes in all colors um, because you can pretty much clear and cleanse all of your chakras just using calcite. And you can get it into every color of the chakra. It helps ground and focus our emotions. You know, so again, it calms and it curves the melodrama. Casa also uh, balances um, the absorption of calcium in the body um, and it helps stimulate uh, positive energy and connection to higher consciousness. Um, another mineral that I'm going to recommend is actually not a crystal, but it's a metal and it's silver. Um, and it's actually interesting because, you know, Leos, we tend to actually be more attracted to copper um, or uh, gold, but silver actually resonates best with us. 
Uh, silver is a, it's connected to the moon, um, and it's, so it's uh, connected to feminine yin energy. And the reason why this is so important for us is because, again, like I said, Leo's, it's a masculine sign. Um, so we tend to be a little bit too aggressive um, in our, in our, in our Mars-like or warrior or masculine energy. So wearing more silver will help balance that out and bring us more on the other end um, and connect with that demonic feminine energy. And I really recommend it for both my male and my female Leos, uh, but more so for my female Leos. Um, but outside of that, you know, silver is great for intuition, um, dreaming, um, connecting with our emotions in a healthy way, um, and it detoxes the body. Um, so, you know, for my Leos who may tend to have challenges, um, you know, with holding, um, you know, uh, uh, any type of impurities in the body and in, in, in fluids or in the, in the blood, uh, silver, wearing silver will definitely help with that. Um, it also helps increase the absorption of um, all minerals. So, yes, silver, definitely, 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 definitely for my Leos. Now the next one, um, I don't often recommend for people in general, it's black obsidian. Um, and I, I, for those of you, you might be wondering why. I actually talked about it in a couple of past videos. I know my Yoni Egg video talks about no for black obsidian or why I say no. Um, and I believe maybe my Aries video I talk about you know why I don't really recommend black obsidian um, but it's actually good for Leo's we actually tend to be attracted to black obsidian um, it's volcanic glass it's an earth and fire element now I know I did mention um, you know to stay away from fire element crystals uh, for my for my Leo's but black obsidian is the exception because sometimes you know, like I said we tend to get lazy we get stagnated and black obsidian will actually just catapult us out of that energy um, so it's an extremely protective stone um, you know it's a, it's a shamanic stone so you know it brings to light a lot of things that we hide um, or the emotions that we kind of keep buried um, so it'll pull up all our shit <laughs> you know but in a healthy way because like I said you know Leo you know we tend to not be connected healthily to our emotions um, and we also uh, tend to be you know moody and kind of on the ends of opposite ends of spectrums when it comes to our melodrama so black obsidian will actually allow us to bring that stuff up in a way where we can tackle it and address it head on Another uh, mineral that I recommend for my Leos, and this is one we actually tend to be attracted to, is Jasper. Now, Jasper is a microcrystalline form of quartz. It is fire element, and it is connected to the planet Mars. Um, so, this is kind of one that also has a disclaimer. Um, but the reason why I recommend it is because it actually um, balances the yin and the yang energy. So it's going to be one of those that balances out that masculine energy that we tend to have, um, but also connects us to our divine feminine energy. Um, so even though Jasper is known for being a fire element and it's, you know, connected to the planet, you know, or the, the planet that's known for war, um, it's going to uh, nurture us in a lot of ways. And so it's extremely protective, very grounding. Um, it also promotes our sexuality, so it'll bring balance to uh, the passionate nature of Leos. Um, it, it'll balance our sex drive, which, that we are, which is something we are known for. Um, and it also will stimulate our creativity. So this is one that I recommend um, for those stagnant periods or the, the blocks of creativity or um, the times where we may have like a low or imbalanced sex drive. But, you know, because of the nature of Jasper, I really don't recommend wearing it or using it for long periods of time, only for whatever it is that you need it for and that's it. Um, and then maybe put it away, and then if you, you know, need it again, bring it back out. Um, but Jasper's not one of those that needs to be around my Leos for extended periods of time. And actually what ends up happening um, is that when, uh, you know, the Jasper has pretty much had enough of us, it'll disappear, you know. Um, so I know my Leos, I've, I've had clients tell me this, and I've even experienced it myself, where I'll lose, you know, that piece of Jasper. It'll disappear, or it'll fall off, or break off of a bracelet or necklace, or, you know, whatever, and it's just because it's done, you know. So again, Jasper's good, but, you know, only for a specific intention for a very specific period of time. So my last recommendation for Leos is, um, it's one that's not commonly used by the layperson. I know a lot of practitioners will use it and healers, 
Um, but, but fluorite, uh, fluorite is a really cool crystal. I absolutely love it. Um, it is a uh, calcium fluoride, that is its chemical composition, and it comes in all kinds of different colors. Um, purple, green, blue, clear. Um, it's got a trigonal pattern. And actually, do I have a piece here? Do I? Yes. So this is actually a fluorite stone that I have. And it naturally forms in this shape. Um, it is uh, connected to the fourth, fifth, and sixth chakra. Um, so it supports the heart, the throat, and the third eye. So this will help with, you know, some of those communication challenges that we tend to have, as well as the heart um, and our uh, intuition um, and our perception, you know, with, with, with those Leos. What I love about fluorite is that it cleanses and stabilizes the aura um, automatically. So as soon as you put it in your environment, it's going to calm you down. Um, it is going to bring balance or clear out all that junk in that energy, clear out your chakras, and just bring those right into alignment. Uh, fluorite neutralizes uh, negative energy, and I actually, on a sidebar, recommend it for people who live in uh, roommate type situations or communal houses, um, because what it does is it promotes cooperation, um, you know, amongst groups of people. So it, you know, clears the energy, brings the calmness, brings the peace. Um, and it also, for my Leos, it, uh, it repairs the DNA. Um, and it also um, clears or uh, treats any spinal disorders. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because Leos, we actually tend to have back problems. Um, we tend to have a lot of challenges in our spine and our lower back. So fluoride definitely will support this. And on the sidebar, selenite. Selenite also treats or supports any uh, conditions with the spine. So that is it for this week's Crystals for the Zodiac for my Leo the Leaders. My Leos the Leaders. So I hope you enjoyed all this information that I have given you. And it was actually a pleasure because like I said, that's my sun sign. So I'm so happy to be talking to my brothers and sisters, my fellow Leos, and helping us get balanced and get right. <laughs> Um, so that is it. Um, again, I am reachable. You can reach out to me. Be the vibe.com is my website. Um, I have blog posts and I have other videos, some things, you know, that, um, I don't, uh, topics of discussion that I don't post in my YouTube videos. You can actually find on my website. Um, so stuff about grid work, um, you know, articles about crystals, um, uh, uh, just different things about spirituality, meditation, all of that on my uh, website. I, I am reachable, therapeuticvibrations at gmail.com. Um, I am on Facebook, Crystal is Sun. I am on Instagram, Crystal is Sun. Um, so for those who want any readings or any consultations, I'm ready, readily available for any of that. Um, and for those of you who want astrological readings, which I do recommend, because like I said, I'm going to say this in every video, this is just a, a general outline. Um, generic information, but what you really want to know is your birth chart. You want to know yourself. You want to know your, your, your astrological blueprint um, because that's going to give you the exact information that you need in order to bring wholeness, balance, and wellness to yourself in your life. Um, so I don't do those. I do a lot of things, but I do not do charts. Um, but Shaman Hands with shamanhands.com, he does charts. He's also on YouTube as well. He does a lot of videos on nutrition and, and holistic eating. Um, and he is on Instagram as Spirit Science Institute. So that's this week's. And I am excited uh, to be able to present this information to you, like I said. Um, so catch you guys next week. Um, I will be presenting to my Virgos.